I mean, I've had a few comments in, in terms of Lee Howie, who the hell's Lee Howie, and, 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 and do we really need a book from, from Lee Howie? I get that, and that's why it's probably took us <laughs> 10 years to do it, and through encouragement, through friends and family. and It's not a book really about Lee Howie's career in terms of you know the best bits, you know the, the goals and stuff. That would be a very, very short book. In fact, probably one or two pages. I understand that. I'm a footballer who loves Sunderland, who went round the doors in ways of injuries and stuff and, and, and eventually got there. This was a completely different to what is now. The, the time where we were in dressing rooms, well, men were men and, we got, and, and, and things were a little bit, I suppose, for me, better. We were able to engage with fans. We were able to do stuff that current players are not able to do. You know, I, I try to give the reader a real insight into what a footballer's life was like. And not your top end, not your elite f- player. A lot who really who, who struggled through the leagues, who tried to get involved and you know, was always in and out of teams, always waiting, waiting for that next contract, not earning a lot of money and being frustrated around that and having arguments with, with managers around that, having you know, dis- discussions with players. The majority of footballers, even I suppose th- these day and ages, the only the elite get obscene amounts of money. The majority of, of footballers, even now, it's a great life. Drive your half-decent car to train and put your kit on and kick the ball around. It's everybody's dream. But again, it, that's your livelihood. It could be finished in in a minute or two. You just bad tackle and and it's over. And where do you go? That's stress and stuff. But the, the joy I got from the changing rooms was on the stories I've got to tell. And that's why I, I wrote it is is I would have beers with colleagues from work. I would have friends round and we would talk about stuff and make people laugh and shock people with stuff who just couldn't believe things that would happen, especially not now, but even then. And I think that's what will surprise people is it's little stories about that I've, that I've been involved in and, and, and with certain people that have been fairly famous, some haven't. I'm hoping the reader will, one, finish the book and go, do you know what, I really enjoy that and add a bit of a laugh.